Yola, welcome back to more Let's Play Dragon Quest XI Blind. Okay, uh, I got everyone to level um, 57 at least. Um, Rao was uh, slacking. And the time it took him to get to 57, some people went to 58. And for some reason, Veronica like started, was like ahead, but she and she's at 55 now. Or 59 rather, jeez. So even she went up five, uh, uh, five levels. Um, yeah, grinding. Yeah, I know it's been a while since I uploaded the last episode. That's because, uh, turns out there really isn't, well, depending on who you believe, it's like, uh, it's like up in the air, like what the best grind spot is. I went ahead and just said, screw it. And, uh, looked up where a good place to grind was. And some people said, uh, this place, uh, cause you can fight, uh, liquid metal slimes. But I only fought like two of them. It was taking forever. Uh, it took me a while to realize that they only get, uh, they only come paired with these, uh, King Cure Slimes. But once you kill them both, you have to, like, go over here for a while to get them to, like, respawn. So I would fight these night guys. And, I mean, even the regular fights were giving, like, a few thousand experience. So it was, like, not bad. Um. Okay, so, oh, and then the other place that, that I had gone to. So I did most of my grinding here. And then I did, uh, also did some grinding at the, um... Actually, I have to fly. Uh, somebody had said, somebody online or whatever had said the um, to go to the Mangle Grove Railway Station. And um, there's like there's like uh, some kind of like uh, those like hand monsters. They summon more of themselves, so you can uh, you can like kill some and then wait, and they'll summon more. And eventually, once they'll get to Z, each one has like a letter on it or whatever and then once it gets to z they stop uh they stop respawning i actually couldn't find it i couldn't find the glowy spot i actually had to look up where it was turns out it was a glowy uh like pillar spot or whatever that i had like never seen so it was a place that i'd like never been to it was just um actually not sure if you can get i mean i guess you would probably be able to get into the mango grove from the way that we did did it on camera or whatever yeah, see, I'm pretty sure it's, like, around here somewhere, but I, I'm not gonna be able to find it again. Watch. Um, but some of these railway stations are, like, self-enclosed. Yeah, right here. So there's no way in or out except uh, from landing. And apparently, like, I never landed here. Oh, my gosh. Why do they do this? Why do they have this big, giant, uh, like, like long path that you have to, like, run for no reason? But I did that for a while. Uh, usually there's like an enemy or two, like a random enemy or two. Besides one of the, uh, or besides the, the hand dudes. And, um, oh my gosh. Well, I was, I was actually just debating if I should like show one just to show what I did. But, um, let's go ahead and, uh, just do this fight. Yeah, there's usually only like one or two. This is the first time I think there's been three. There can be up to eight enemies at a time. So you want to kill the other guys. That way there's only uh, muddy hands left. Oh, yeah. I was using Eric uh, in case I fought a metal uh, dude or whatever. He's got this metal liquor thing that hits everybody. Uh, I also learned a new... Uh... Oh, god dang it. I can't use this one. I was about to say, I learned a new uh, pet power when I learned an ability. I'm guessing it was that one. That one didn't look familiar. Okay, I guess we'll crack, crack everyone then. Should be fine. Oops, I killed all the naughty hands. All right, whatever. But basically, um, you kill all the other dudes first, and then uh, you leave the other guys alive, the muddy hands alive, and just let them summon more and more guys. And you slow you you slowly kill them, but you don't want to kill too many because then that's like less chances for them to summon more guys. So basically, what I was doing is uh, I was like I was just like doing attacks or whatever, and then I forgot to where there was like a whole bunch of dudes. Then, um, uh, does this, oh, god damn it. Like, well, what can I do? Oh, yeah, I was doing this, too. Um, most of the battles give you more than a 1,000 gold, and then this attack does, like, between, like, 270 or, and, like, 300 damage, and it hits everyone. So, uh, like, I was still, like, um, I was still gaining money on most of the fights. 
even though I was spending a thousand, I would gain like fourteen hundred or whatever. And then on some of the fights, even if I didn't get a full thousand, I would gain like eight hundred or something like that. So I would only lose like a little bit. I was still like it was still like a net positive. See, I got eighteen hundred from that one fight. So I mean, eight thousand is pretty good. But I was getting about twenty seven thousand from uh like letting them summon the hands all the way to Z, which is a lot. But the fights took like for freaking ever. And it was like really boring to like do it that way. So um, I ended up doing some, I, I, you know, I did some grinding there, but eventually I got tired of it and I was like, all right, where else can I go? And they're like, oh, go to this island and fight the metal slimes. It's like, well, they hardly ever spawn. So it's like pointless. Uh, three chrono crystals. Okay. I was like, okay, well, we can at least check these two uh, places since I got the ultimate key. Oh, speaking of which, I went ahead and looked at it in the, um, in the this or whatever. Check it out. It says it can op om open almost anything except for certain very special doors. So apparently we got, like, some kind of, like, super ultimate key that we still got to get. So it's like, god dang it. Uh, so there's still there still might be like an additional level of key or whatever. But um So yeah, so I mean, I don't know, people were just like, "Oh, go to Slime Island, just fight the metal slimes." I'm like, "Well, they only spawn like one out of every like couple of battles. It was like very rare that you would even see them, and then sometimes they would just like flee right away." Um Well, what sucks about this is that... Oh, you know what? I should have just zoomed from the ground. Because now I have to land again to zoom. I was going to zoom somewhere. Oh, wait. No, we got to go to Battleground. I was sitting here thinking, like, what else should we freaking do? Uh, since I gained those levels, we can uh, see if I'm strong enough to kill that dude at the... Uh... Let me just... Hold on. What was this? Uh... See, I turn around. Like, where did it go? Oh, it's right here. Oh, that was... Okay. That was the one I was just at. Alright. Uh, we gotta see if we can kill that dude at the bottom. And then some people were like... What's this one? Let me just check to see if there's uh, um, an ultimate key thing here. Uh, nope. Watch, it's not gonna let me zoom to the battleground. Oh, god dang it. Why can't I zoom to the battleground? God damn it. Now I have to use the take forever flute again. Where the F is it? Boy, they almost need another bag just for uh, stuff that's important that I can actually use. But uh, th there's also uh, there was also people going, oh, just go to the uh, the trial, and uh, there's one of the trial things or whatever it has like a king metal slime in it, and he's worth a lot. It's like yeah, but you still have to do like a bunch of fights, I think, right? You can't just do that one fight, get the experience, and then back out, right? But I did not even try that. But uh, I guess we're, we'll see about that after uh, after I take out this guy. I don't know, like, there's, like, some debate about, like, what's the best, like, use of your time. Because you can get more experience, but it's like, well, if it takes you twice as long, is it, like, worth the extra time, you know? Oh, so, yeah, I don't know. And then also to kill the metal dudes, you have to, uh, like, yeah, like, I mean, you can kill them sometimes regularly, or kill them regularly sometimes with just your normal abilities. But there's like, uh, there's like pep uh, abilities that'll like help you. But then it's like, well, you would have to have the pep, um, you would have to be like pepped up at the, um, at like the exact time that the metal slime appears. So like the odds of, uh, of the stars aligning makes it to where it's like not really like that reliable. But yet people insist that it's like the best way to do it or whatever. So it's like, yeah, who's right then? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, since I gained all those levels, let's see if, uh, all right, 10 more focus points. Nice. 
Oh, and I got a new, uh, I learned a new Master Stroke. Oh, is that better than the Sizzly Puff? Oh my gosh, we got a whole, uh, extra, like, tutorial thing. Uh, you've, uh, you've, uh, learned Hephaestus, Hephaestus' Flame. There's a special forging move known as the, as a Master Stroke. Well, it said a Master Stroke, so I thought that, like, when it first gave it to me, I thought that, like, it was implying that there'd be, like, more than one. Every now and again, when you're hammering away, you'll have a flash of inspiration, which will allow you to let loose this most incredible of abilities, but only once per forging session. After you use it, you'll get a message telling you you're primed for greatness, and any bash or flourish will send the gauges soaring. But we'll stop them as soon as they hit the sweet spot. Oh, it's like a free hit. That's cool. But be careful, it only lasts one turn. If you waste it on increasing the temperature or something else that doesn't involve striking, you'll only have yourself to blame. Okay. Uh, yeah, earlier in the game, up until now, I was wondering if uh, it would say that, like, your adventuring experience gave you more focus points. I actually didn't know if, like, progressing in the story is what was giving me the points or whatever, or if it was just straight up levels. But now I know it's levels, because I just gained levels, and I got ten more. Um. Okay, this is five for Rab. Doesn't seem super worth it. This is, uh, heal as you walk, okay. I mean, I can just use handy heal all. Like, uh, running out of magic has not really been, like, a problem. I don't know, I kind of don't want to make those. Besides, we're on a mission. I wasted so much time in the last episode. Um. Uh, like, uh, what do you call it? Forging or whatever. That uh, I don't want to waste more time in this episode if it's not something that's, like, good. Okay, I should probably rest. I'm pretty sure I need a, a, a heal, I think, right? Oh, I also went uh, hog wild on the skill trees, too. Oh, it's, uh, let's hit that up. Uh, I saved some points on Silvando. Um... Because I figured, let's take a look at these uh, these ones. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll want to spend the uh, points on these. Yeah, it's five percent pep chance. The fact that those are kind of expensive makes me think that maybe they are good. Oh yeah, I went down the whip route on this one. I went down a couple of different paths with some of the characters since we had like another chance to try a different path. It is kind of cool how they did that. I kind of wish I knew what beguiling means. I still don't entirely know, like, what that means. Okay, confuse all enemies. Okay, yawn. Uh, let's go ahead and get the increased pep chance. I mean, 5% seems, like, piddly, but... There was also characters that, like, I literally did, did not have, like, any idea, like, what to... Like, what to get with them. Yeah, I, like... I think Sylvando was one of those people. That's why I saved it in case I want one of these ones. One of the question mark ones. But it's like, I don't want anything else that he has. I guess we could do Charm plus 40. I don't know. I mean, it's like 40, so that's like a lot, I guess, but... Oh, yeah, more skill points that I don't know what I'm going to, like, do with. Also... I noticed that some of these have these, um, see how these have, this has, like, extra, like, designs on it? And these other ones, like, don't? Like, what does that mean? Does that mean it's, like, an extra good one or something? Yeah, see, it has this one, too. See, this one has it, and it's the pep chance one. So maybe those are, like, better than I think. Uh, okay, Jade has some as well. Yeah, I saved, um, I left them, like, uncracked or whatever, just so I could, um... Like, keep track of which ones they were. Uh, steals MP. Okay. Yeah, I went the claw route with her. I mean, that's pretty good, I guess. Um, she ha Now that she has that, um, that move that uses lots of MP, and she doesn't have that much MP, that might come in handy. Oh, nice. So she's, like, better than, cl uh, better with claws. 
than the other guy. I think the other guy only had... Um, this is wind attack. All right, cool. Was that rad, I think? Uh, it only has propeller strike or whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and get that MP uh, stealing one, I guess. And I guess we'll do uh, pep chance. Yeah, this one. It's a double claw. This is like the triple one. So I'm guessing, let's just go ahead and get the triple one and, and bypass the propeller one. We'll save the rest of her points. Uh, was it Rab? Oh, yeah, I went up the claw route to get these two. I wanted these two earlier. I don't know if you remember. It was a while back. I was like, oh, it's a dick move. They make you go, uh, make you go the claw route to get these two plus uh, 20 agilities, which is like a lot. But, uh, yeah, this guy, or, uh, Rab only has, oh, he's got this one. Oh, that's, never mind, that's just, uh, critical. Yeah, but maybe, uh, maybe this one or this one are another, uh, uh, like, claw ability. Also, by the way, you have to get this one in order to get this one. You need all four, you need all four to unlock this one. So let's check that out. Okay, so whatever this other question mark is, I have to get it just to see. This is almost like a skill tree within a skill tree. I have to get two question bar uh, mark ones just to unlock to see what this uh, third question mark one is. Uh, infinite Wisdom. Significantly increases the effectiveness of the user's spells. It costs 32. Okay. Oh man, I actually don't have enough for it. I need more points. Which probably means that this one's probably really good then, right? And Hendrick, uh, yeah, I think Hendrick, I had no idea what I was going to get. Let's take a look at these other ones. Uh, six uh, swings on a single guy. And I can use it, I can use all three weapons. So I can keep, uh, I can use the axes with this one. That's probably really good. Uh, it's stun double, okay. Oh, instead of stun double? Uh, it's clever. Okay, so when you're pepped up... Uh, you get like more uh like more bonuses or whatever the only other one i was gonna think about getting is this one since i have two i would have to get these two cheap ones to look at this one but we'll go ahead and get this one first we'll save up for the other ones later or for later okay the only other thing uh that i can think of is that um is that Oh, wait, I forgot Serena. Let's at least take a look at these ones. Enables a party member to avoid instant death attacks when their HP is at 2 or above. Uh, okay. There must be some kind of attack that puts you at 1. And they don't want it to apply uh, when that happens, I guess. Uh, this is like uh, Life 3, I guess. Yeah, that one I think I remember from before. Assails a group of enemies with Radiant Rays also initiates automatic HP restoration. Uh, okay, cool. That one I don't remember. But um, what I was going to say is that we still have to remember to... Um, I have to buy some... Uh, I have to buy some claws. I don't have good claws. I haven't been keeping up with my uh, claw game or whatever. Oh, what was the other one? I got claws for Jade. I went down the claw route with Jade and with Rab. Did I do anything else? In terms of uh, changing? Oh, and I went whips with Silvando, so we need a good whip for him. Well, I figured that with the amount of grinding I would need to do, that uh, that like whips would um, would be good for him, so I could hit like multiple enemies. Normally, like that wouldn't be a good use of skill points, but I had like nothing else to spend them on, so I figured why not. God damn it, I have all my money on me. I just now noticed that. So if I lose this fight, then, uh, yeah, I'm losing a bunch of money. Man, I don't know, man. 
that dude was, uh, that guy was, like, pretty strong. I also don't remember which room he was in. Try this room down at the bottom. Oh, man, so we actually have stakes. I lose, like, 40,000 freaking dollars if I lose. I don't know, I've already spent enough time. I kind of don't feel like dipping out just to put my money in the bank. Oh, God damn it, dude. My God, I fled on the first attempt. It's a miracle. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, I also got an, uh, an achievement, an accolade or whatever. I thought an accolade was like a person. Maybe that's Acolyte. But I got one of those for uh, getting 200 preemptive strikes. Okay, I thought I had to be closer for it to activate, but I guess not. Oh my god, okay, please. Oh, god dang it, I should have had the lineup like done better. Like, I should have done that in advance, but oh well. Um, okay, we need one healer at least. Uh, Serena's defense is way higher than Rab's. I wonder why. I'm pretty sure Rab's, like, armor is fine. You have my I don't know. Sword. I'm just glad Serena's, like, hot again. She got she got her long hair back. Um. I wonder if I should do this one. Just go for the kill, like, right away. You know, I could technically just cast Kabuff to, like, undo the the defense um, uh, debuff or whatever. Um. Oh, and by the way, I, yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, when I was fighting those hand guys, uh, I kept Serena, and um, whenever there was like too many guys where they couldn't summon more guys, I would use Swoosh. To, uh, to, like, soften them up so I could kill a couple of them more easily. Because once, if there's too many guys, then, like, if you have seven guys, they can only summon one more guy in that turn. So I would try to keep it around, like, four. And that would make the battle, like, go, like, the fastest. Um. So if there was, like, too many guys, then I would use Swoosh to, like, soften them up so I can kill a couple of them quickly. To create space for more guys to get summoned, you know? Um, okay, so, okay. Let's, uh, kabuff. Kabuff on everybody is gonna be, like, useful anyway, since I was getting my Aish kicked. Okay. I wonder if I can oomphal. I'm pretty sure... I don't know, it, it kind of sucks that 2 is, like, the maximum... Uh, buff, I think, right? I did confirm that a while back, right? Wait, if I do this... If this works, this will give me a bunch more turns. Hey, nice. Okay, um, yeah, uh, for Veronica, yeah, I forgot to mention. Well, I, you know, I learned, like, tons of stuff. So I didn't feel like going over and saying everything I learned. Plus, I forgot. But, uh, I gave Veronica the one where you sometimes cast a spell twice. For, like, no additional cost. Um. I mean, is it worth it to do this? What would I even use? with him. I kind of wish that uh, Thomas had something that would target, that was like a single target attack that was better than Falcon Slash. Because all of these like splitter attacks, these are all like hit everyone spells. Or uh, abilities or whatever. Like I don't know what he's weak to. Should I use Pep Up? You know what? No, it's Falcon Slash, because he has the attack uh, buff. And even with double attack buff, it's still only, still only doing 200. Oh, Jeebus. Uh, maybe I should do it, since uh, Falcon Slash is not really doing that much. I mean, 200 is fine, but it's like... But my pep attack might do, like, way more.
Um, boy, that guy still got two turns. Oh yeah, and uh, Veronica learned Kaboom, by the way. Oh, we should try, uh, we should do Sap. And then we could try Hendrix, um... Oh, it said it didn't work. Oh, is it because he put that purple mist on? Is that what, Does that make that kind of thing, like, not work? Does it make that kind of thing, like, not work? Um... Uh, should I more heal or should I multi heal? I don't know, man. He might be able to do. He might be able to kill Veronica if I don't multi heal. Hendrix. Yeah, Hendrick's uh, a tough boy. He should be able to survive even though he's not at full. Okay, what was the new thing I got? Let's see how much this does. 401. What did that say went down? Did that say attack or defense? Oh man, and that's paralyzed. Well, this isn't good. Well, god dang. Uh, okay. Well, we have to multi heal. Don't worry, I'm here to help. Then Serena's gonna have to kazing on the next uh, turn if she has it. Jeez, man. I can't believe this guy is still so tough. Um. I could have him heal himself. I don't know if that's like a smart thing to do though. His heal probably won't be that good. Oh, he's got over 500 HP. I didn't even notice. His healing is going to suck. So I'm tempted to like not even like use it. I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel like I should anyway. He's he's not like close to dying, so I should not be going for like the kill at this point. Like I don't feel like I feel like uh, trying to stay alive is more important than going for damage right now. Uh, I could kabuff. Is he even worth it? He's like kicking my ass, like regardless. See, this one I was curious about. It says attracts all enemies, all enemy attacks to the user for a while while also making them invincible. Does that mean Hendrick invincible or like who's them? Or is it make the enemy invincible? Is this just to like buy time? For Heliodor. Okay, so it makes Hendrick invincible. But all of the uh all of the multi attacks still hit everybody. Okay, I'm gonna need paralysis protection on my next uh, attempt since this one's pretty much toast. Can I only use that like once per battle, I wonder? <laughs> that seems like pretty OP actually. Um, well, I mean, I guess I could change the lineup now. I don't, I don't have to wait for Ken uh, Hendrick to die. I almost said Kendrick for some reason. Well, I might be losing that money. I mean, I, I guess I've gotten my use. I got like good use out of that. Uh, okay, paralysis. If I can paralyze it, that'd be nice. This guy might be immune to like um, status effects. Five fifty-one. It's good damage either way. Since this is like a special uh, fight or whatever, they might make it so that uh, so that 
Like, you can't, like, uh, like, put him to sleep or confuse him or whatever. Um. I have this one, apparently. I didn't even notice it. I learned this. Oh, and I got Kazam, too. I didn't even notice that one. Uh, single, uh, well, it's like a really strong single target thing, so... Actually, you know what? You're on heal duty. So you gotta heal, dude. That Night Watch has to only be useful like once per or usable once per battle. What? I have to use Knight's Mandate first? What does that mean? Is that a pep uh uh power? Almost said pep attack, but it's like it wouldn't be an attack. Um Wait, he's not even half dead yet. Oops, I used the wrong thing. I meant to use the... Alright, uh, whatever. Uh, you know what? I have to try to keep my current people alive. What also sucks is that this isn't using any MP. So you can do the, that like spike attack as many times as you want. Yeah, I meant to do this one. Jeez. Oh, God damn it! I'm gonna actually die. Oh, oh, my God. Look, I got him yellow at least. Just like no way we can win. While well, only doing 180. Because my attack buff, like, wore off. Oh, man. Zing. Uh, Zing. Uh, Jade has over 500 HP, too. Oh, Jeebus. Uh, can we enthrall him? I don't know. Well, Damn, dude. Just two shot at him. Uh, yeah, we're done. We're dead. Oh, God damn it! Why did I have all my money on me? Oh, it's because I did all that grinding. I did all that grinding, and that's why I had all that money. Well, it was just my grinding money, I suppose. I didn't even have anything. I wonder if this would have been useful. 164 every turn. But Eric is so squishy, he'll probably die real quick. Oh, he actually survived two full attacks. Look at that. I can be paralyzed, and he's still taking damage. Damn, son. Oh, man. Well, I did save. $43,000. All right, whatever. Okay, let me see if I have any paralysis thingies on me. I can't believe I still have the restorative on him. Give me 10 HP per turn. It's like, geez. Oh, I also got a prayer ring. Uh, the slime, when I was fighting the slime knights, apparently there was like a rare enemy. I forget what it was called, but it was like, it had like a pink um, slime. It was like a pink slime knight person. And it uh, gave me a prayer ring. I'm guessing it gives you one, like, every time. I only saw... I think I only saw one, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I'll do that later. I'll make the... Uh, I might need to make the uh, paralysis preventing things or whatever. We'll do that later. We'll come back when we're level, I don't know, 60 or so? We'll come back when we do, like, other stuff. We'll naturally, like, gain levels from doing other stuff. So we'll come back to that. Uh, gaining a couple more levels plus the um, the paralysis uh, thing will maybe be enough for us to win. Um, 
Okay, so now where? Oh, I was gonna go around and check uh, to see where else we could, um, where else there were more of those ultimate key things. I know that there's one in the the cryptic crypt, but I don't think those are places that I can uh, zoom to. Those are like places that are like near the places I can zoom to, which I had like no idea like where they actually are. So I guess once I go to, once I go to like a place, once I go to like a place, I can look at the like the map of like the nearby areas. Yeah, I wasn't taking any notes of where the um where the ultimate key doors or whatever were. I know the cryptic crypt one. Um Oh, here's where we can go into the mango grove. Let's check the mango grove since we're here. I haven't been here on foot. Uh, since we were here, like, on camera a bajillion episodes ago. Actually, let me just see. There is a way to check other places on the map. Like, nearby places. The woodcutter's hut. And now can I click here and... Okay, so I can check a bunch of maps at once. This is kind of what I was hoping for. So basically, I need to go like this until I can, like, find a place where I can use that key. Oh, also, by the way, I just found this out before I started uh, recording. If you go to info, you can go to passwords, and it'll tell you where to find the tacos with the passwords. And star means you got it. And it tells you uh, near the top, it uh, tells you, you got, I got 15 out of 25. Oh wait, this was a question mark when I looked last time. Why is this now revealed? I had two question, I had two sets of question mark ones. I'd like both of these were question marks before I started recording. And now only one of them is. But it is nice that it at least like tells you where to go so you don't have to just like go around the whole freaking world. It's wait for this guy to walk away. Okay, so we'll hit up the cryptic crypt, and then uh, we'll meet back. I'll just have to go to like places and check the maps, and I'll just check all the maps or whatever, and we'll see if we can find some uh, some doors. Because the doors are gonna contain chests, and some of the chests might have recipe books that um, will be like better equipment that'll also help me. So it's actually like worth doing that, I think. Um, so we'll meet, we'll meet back at the cryptic crypt. And then we'll meet back after that. Once I grab that, we'll meet back at uh, whatever other places I can find. Oh, which is going to suck because it's going to be a lot of uh, cutout footage. So it's going to be a lot of IRL playing. And then not that much actual, like, footage being used. But whatever. I mean, like, that's the way it goes sometimes. So it's just, it's going to suck. But we got to do it, man. We got to do it, man. We got to win. We got to, um, like, we got to gain. We got to, like, get stronger for that other thing, too. And that's, like, required to beat the game. So... So it's, like, necessary to, like, beat the game. So I'll stop rambling, and uh, we'll do the thing I said a minute ago, and we'll be right back.